So really quickly, I want to go over the advanced settings within the YouTube Live dashboard. These settings are not so advanced that it's going to make you confused, but something you're going to want to understand. So let's just get to it and understand them right away. Go to the basic info tab and scroll down to the bottom where it says advanced settings and click that. It'll pop up a new window. And this is, again, you already know this stuff. It's not what we're looking for. We're looking at the advanced settings right here. So chat, do you want to enable live chat? I would suggest yes. You might have reasons to say no. It's a personal preference. But in general, you, you want engagement with your live stream videos. No matter what system you're using, YouTube, Twitch, Periscope, engagement is king, right? License and rights ownership. Is it a Creative Commons? Do you want anyone to, to use your video? Or do you want to keep your standard YouTube license, which is an automatic copyright as to you, the copyright holder? Syndication everywhere or just on monetized platforms. Keep it on everywhere. It'll let people uh, stream your actual channel on their website, on their blog, on their Twitter, on their Facebook page. You want that. Caption certification. I always choose this content has never aired on television in the US. I'm guessing yours is going to be the same. Obviously, there could be some special uh, circumstances where you choose something else, but let's just go with that for now. Allow embedding, yes, 100% click yes. Promotions, promote through featured content when event is live, yes. Obviously you want YouTube to pick you up and put you on the home page if you were lucky enough to get there. Probably not gonna happen unless you start really getting some nice feedback and some good engagement on your videos, but it could happen and you wanna make sure that's clicked off so it does. Promote on my channel page when the event is live, an hour before. So if you wanna go back and do the scheduling like we talked about in a previous lesson, that's really cool. You can start promoting your live stream 12 hours, one day, two days, or even a week before your live stream goes live. Or you could just do uh, when the event is live spontaneously. Both are cool, both work. I think a mixture of both methods would be best for your business. Enable re age restriction. That's a personal preference. Uh, obviously, if you've got any type of sensitive content, you have to click that and enable the age restriction. For me, on my channel, I leave it unticked because I just do tutorials on internet marketing. I'm not swearing. I'm not doing any type of vulgar content on this channel, so I really don't need to pay attention to that setting. Category, gaming. Mine was on gaming just for one quick live stream, but typically I keep mine on education. Yours will be different. Video location. Doesn't matter if you put this in, even a little bit. I leave it blank. Video language, English. Obviously, if your language is not English, you'll choose something different. You could choose up to 184 different languages on YouTube. Community contributions. Do you want to allow your viewers to contribute titles, descriptions, subtitles? I'm going to have to say no on that one. There's just too many trolls on YouTube to let that slide, and people will probably upload some really weird stuff to your channel if you let that happen. Do not click that button. Recording date, again, you don't need to put that down, but you can if you want to. Video statistics, yes, click this off. You want your video statistics available on the watch page unless you're just starting off and you know you have terrible viewership, terrible engagement, then hide it. It's fine, just hide it. And there's nothing to be ashamed of if you're just starting out and have very small amount of views. Literally, that's how every single large YouTube channel started. And one thing you need to know about growth on YouTube and live streaming is it's exponential. So it's very slow at the beginning and then it starts to skyrocket as you become consistent and have high quality consistency. Content declaration. Does your content have a paid product or placement? If it does, according to the FTC and many other countries' organizations, you need to click this and make a disclaimer about it. Personally, where I'm from, we don't have that type of rule. But because I deal with US customers and someone could easily mistake me to be in a US state from my accent, uh, I go ahead and declare any type of product placement, affiliate link. Not only is it just good for keeping uh, your legal stuff good, it's just being transparent. You wanna be a transparent affiliate marketer, a transparent internet marketer, business owner. People will build trust off that and really you'll see that tenfold in your bottom line. DVR, we already went through this. You do want to enable DVR. Recording, automatically make archive unlisted. We already went through that. Do not click that. Allow comments, yes. 
show all comments you could either do it by the newest or the top comments stream optimizations we've already gone through that I highly recommend keeping it on the bottom one for less viewer buffering and the added delay we've already gone through that as well so that's it for the advanced settings on your YouTube live dashboard we've covered every single tab you should be up to date if we went a little bit too fast simply go back and watch the videos they were short and you get up to speed quite quickly before we go on to the next section we're getting really close to getting you live on YouTube so let's go